Some Excel users use the terms unique and distinct loosely, including me. But these terms mean different things in Excel or a database. So this video will clarify the difference between unique and distinct values in Excel. I hope you find it useful and if you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing. Let's look at some examples. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you. In simple terms, unique values appear only once in a data set. You can use the unique function to extract items that appear only once. And in this example, the goal is to obtain a list of countries that won the Africa Cup of Nations only once between 2000 and 2021. So unique. Array is the champion column. The second argument by column is an optional argument. True is going to compare and return unique values by columns. And if this argument is omitted, it will default to false, which will compare by rules. So select false. The last argument, exactly once, is where to specify if you want unique or distinct values returned. True will return items that appear only once, while false will return all distinct values from the list. So select true. Close the bracket. Now, this is a dynamic array formula, so it will spill to other cells when you press enter. There you have it, the countries that won only once between 2000 and 2021. I'll use the COUNTIF function to validate this result. COUNTIF range is the champion column and criteria is DeFi with the hash symbol. The hash symbol allows you to reference the entire spilled range. Enter. The result shows that these countries appear only once in the data. In simple terms, distinct values are all the different items in a list, excluding duplicates. Using the same data from the previous example, the goal is to obtain a list of countries that won the Africa Cup of Nations between 2000 and 2021. So unique, array is the champion column. Select false for by call argument. If omitted, it will automatically default to false to compare by rules. For the last argument, select false to return distinct values. Now, if omitted, this is the default selection. Close the bracket and enter. There you have it the countries that won between 2000 and 2021. In this example, you can actually delete the optional argument and get the same result because Excel will automatically default to false for both arguments. I'll use the county function to validate this result. Range is this and criteria is DeFi with the hash symbol. The hash symbol allows you to reference the entire spilled range. Enter. This result shows the number of times each country won. That's all for today. Going forward, remember to use the terms distinct and unique correctly. I hope you found the video useful. I'll see you next time. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.